if you guys, if you want to watch these crazy videos with me, with my own personal commentary, you're invited. <laughs> well, this is my vlog channel. This is where I get to be homeless. This is like me inviting you into my house and you're my bestie and you're allowed to rummage in the fridge for a snack and join me on the couch in your pajamas and watch Netflix and scroll through your phone, whatever. That's my vlog channel. I need you guys. You guys are my friends. You guys are my mouse fam. You know, you guys are my support system. You guys are my bros. Man, I haven't used this dinosaur in a long time. Mostly I just want to see if the mic works. So basically if I walk all the way back here, I just want to know how well you can hear me and how close I need to be to the microphone for it to pick me up. I suppose I should speak a little louder. Oh, Scrappy's sleeping. Oh, he's awake. Okay, let's see how that worked. Yes, it's as good as mine, Sancho Pancho. Hey guys, how you doing? I look different for a couple of reasons. One, I have a microphone. <laughs> well, I have a microphone and you don't. So you will listen to every damn word I have to say! I've had this microphone for a very long time. And the other reason that I probably look different, I don't know if that's showing up on camera, but there's this weird futzy bit right over my shoulder. I have no clue what that is. And it's on the TV as well. I have no clue what that is at all. I don't know if it's showing up in the video, but anyway, I'm also recording on a dinosaur of a camera that I have also had forever uh, because it's the only one that has an external mic port. And I literally spent two hours trying to figure out how to get this stupid thing to connect to my laptop to no avail because it's very annoying. I wanted to test the microphone to see how it worked. Ah! I'm so sorry that you had to deal with that. So I don't know how close I need to be to this thing. Cause I know when I record videos, I tend to talk loud. And right now I'm talking not as loud as I normally would. So I don't know how close I need to be to this thing. And this thing has a flip out screen, which is what I keep looking at. And it looks so strange because I have not, again, used this video camera in a very long time. Oh, and there went my light source. Okay, laptop. <laughs> laptop is my light source because it's dark down here. So videos, I was kind of wanting to start to do, ooh, I wanted to uh, revive my main channel a little bit and start doing reaction videos because I watch a lot of crazy videos, mostly like the, the police body cam stuff. And if none of you have ever seen those, then it probably sounds worse than it is because every time I've mentioned that to someone who didn't know what I was talking about, they thought that I was watching like people getting murdered. No, that's not what it is. It's basically cops going out and dealing with these crazy unhinged people who are drunk or just like super Karens or whatever and their body cam, you know, captures it. Get away from the car. They just 44 trying to take off on us. What happened? Crazy, but she said they were just driving and she just came home, but up there and she rented him. I'm gonna get my car to my house. You're gonna what? Okay, I'm gonna get my car to my house. Well, we're gonna, we, we obviously can't get it to your house, right? Um, it's gonna, I could drive it there. Baby, you can't drive that car. Mm, yeah, worse. I drive it worse. No, we're not, we're not doing that. Like, uh, they're just so unhinged. Like, these people just act like fools, and it's ridiculously entertaining, and it's very gratifying to see them get what they deserve as far as justice is concerned. Like, it's great to see them being handcuffed. It's great to see them being pushed into the back of a police car. It's great to see them being carted off to jail in the helmet of shame. And it's just wonderful, and it makes me... <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're addictive, okay? And if you guys have watched these yourself, which I know a lot of you have, you know what I'm talking about. I definitely have had reactions and opinions to some of these things that I've watched. So I was just like, well, 
you know, I couldn't figure out what to do for my main channel because I abandoned it like two years ago because it was just so much freaking work to do all the various things that I was doing, really. You know, I couldn't keep up with the Haunted Places and Coffee because it takes a tremendous amount of research and then I have to like film it and edit it and like put it together and everything. And it, it was just, it was too much work. I, I, like the little skits and stuff, I just don't have the time anymore. I just don't have the time. I used to have a very carefree life before my, my world revolved around candles and Uber and a guy that I actually like spending time with. <laughs> and a dog. We're going to bring the dog into this because he's a freaking handful. Yeah, basically I just wanted to bring the mic out because that's what people do when they do videos of a better quality. You know, they don't just like put on a point and shoot and talk into the thing. They have like a proper microphone and stuff. And then you guys can hear every little sound. I know not a lot of people like that and that's not the point. We're not going to be doing ASMR with this stuff, but just, it's just better quality. You guys know what I'm talking about. So that's kind of what I was thinking. And I'm obviously going to use the mic stand for this. I'm not going to like awkwardly hold it like I'm about to enjoy a carnival corn dog. Now I want a corn dog. Dang it. I really like corn dogs. Corn dogs are awesome. Don't you agree? I feel much more important with a microphone. I do. My neck is starting to hurt though. Hold on. There we go. <laughs> I gotta tilt y'all. Yeah, I found this handy little uh, desk tripod that I did not even know that I had. So it's quite convenient. I just can't believe I'm shooting on this camcorder. I've had it for so long. I, I was able to buy this thing with money that I won off of Vampire Freaks for winning a contest. Remember Vampire Freaks? Yeah. Yeah. That was a long time ago. I also want to say a big thank you to everybody who placed candle orders after my whiny, sobby, pity party bullshit in my last vlog. I don't regret posting the video because, again... I always try to be straight with you guys and a few people criticize like oh this is you know the face of your business and you shouldn't like say things like this and you shouldn't post this video and talk like this and act like this and I'm like well first of all on my candle website there isn't a giant honking link to my website in fact the only mention of me at all is if you go digging to the about me page there's a picture of me and it says that I am a one person who does this but for the most part most customers who aren't y'all have no idea who I am or that I'm just one person. So, you know, no one knows. And all of you who watch my vlog channel obviously know about the candle website, but you watch the vlog channel for me. That's why I posted the video because that's my vlog channel. It's not my candle making business YouTube channel. It's my vlog channel where I get to be myself and talk about whatever's on my mind. And that's why I posted the video and it has no connection to Underworld Connection other than I talk about candles and show you guys stuff sometimes. But people who go to Underworld Connection and don't already know who I am, there's no way to find out who I am. <laughs> so I don't know why I got criticized for that. I think that's weird. So it's not like I posted a link to that video next to the candle sales, you know what I mean? So the vlog channel and the candle website are separate. Just FYI. Anyway, thank you guys, most of you who posted supportive comments. There was one bag who was a real in her response so she can go to hell she got blocked i told her she was a crap person and she said that i was too so she can f off whatever so <laughs> it just you know there's no need to be rude like you know i'm just talking about myself what's on my mind what's going on and you know i was feeling crappy so that's what we talked about in that vlog because What's a vlog without some realism? I don't like what I used to do. And what I used to do was I only showed you guys the happy, super positive parts of my life. Stop it. Sorry. And there was a whole lot of negative going on behind the scenes, like 80% negative. And y'all never saw even a moment of that. 
So this is why I feel like now it's important to address also the negative moments because I feel like it's unrealistic when one is on social media in any capacity, even if it's just your personal Facebook and, you know, you're only friends with like your family members and, you know, people you went to high school with or whatever. I feel like it's dishonest to misrepresent yourself and only, you know, post like my life is perfect because it's like it, it, it helps to perpetuate that unrealistic lifestyle quality that people already feel like they have to live up to. And it makes it worse for people who have problems and have difficult times and negative thoughts and feelings and experiences when they see everyone around them supposedly just living their best life with no problems or negative thoughts or feelings or experiences whatsoever it makes them feel even worse like why am i the only one who's having problems right now everybody else is happy so this is you know the bar that everybody sets by only talking about the good stuff i don't think that that's authentic like i don't think that you should like air your dirty laundry on facebook or social media or whatever i mean like there's plenty of private things that go on that are negative in my life that of course i don't talk about on my vlog channel or my facebook or whatever you know but there are moments you know like the freaking candle wax situation my god and like me being upset with fedex you know for all of that and it's like showing that and like moments when i'm depressed or just having like deep thoughts or whatever it's like i feel like it's important to show that so that y'all understand that my life also has an up and down balance too so that it does i don't want to be a part of perpetuating the everything that you see online all the happiness all the perfect moments all the perfectly done hair and makeup and clothing and the lifestyles of just seemingly perfection and happiness like 24 7 it's unrealistic and i don't want to be a part of displaying that and perpetuating that i think it's toxic there is such a thing as toxic positivity okay so that's why i show the darker moments you know that go on so that you know i'm i'm real okay i try to be real with you and it's inauthentic to not show the whole picture you know like i said i don't show everything i mean like i don't run to youtube or facebook every time jj and i have like a little tiff which we like don't ever that's a bad example. Anyway, okay, so if I just have, you know, I don't, I don't run to social media every time there's a bad moment, you know what I mean? But like, if there's kind of a story to tell, or like just a really, or just like a really, yeah, just if I need, if I just need to get it out, you know, it's like the equivalent of writing in my diary. I mean, that's what vlogging was video blog. You remember blogs? They're still a thing. A blog used to be basically an online diary and a vlog was a video blog. And that's what it was originally sort of put out there as. Am I the only dinosaur left who still uses vlogging for its intended purpose? Okay. So just saying you know that's that's why i put up videos like that i think it's important but yeah wow sidetrack thank you guys for all of your positive comments like 99 percent of you you guys made me cry okay you guys made me cry with gratitude and just everything like good cry it was a good cry it was a very heartfelt moving cry because you guys just overwhelmed me with your really awesome supportive comments and that made me feel so good and i needed to feel so good right then and you guys did that for me and also giant thank you to everybody who placed an order ah oh, i can pay the phone bill now thank you <laughs> <laughs> like seriously seriously you have no idea you guys saved my ass okay i don't want to understate how helpful every single one of those orders was like really you guys like you you really did save my ass okay i promise you i mm, i thank you just thank you i i, I don't want to ruin it by saying too many words but thank you like you have no idea how much i needed that 
and I really appreciate y'all's orders and just all the support and all the reviews. My God, everybody just flocked to leave reviews after that. I was like, Gee, I got like 25 reviews in one day at one point. I was like, God, I really appreciate that. The reviews, not only do they help, you know, when people come and they see a, a good review and that prompts them a little bit more maybe to buy something, not even but with that but it was just nice seeing the feedback because i again i don't normally see feedback or hear feedback about stuff i just make it package it send it on its way and don't really hear back about it so i don't know i assume people like it because they're not complaining about it and they order again but like it's nice to actually see what you guys thought of all the products it was really nice to see specifically how you felt about them that made me feel really good that restored my oomph in what I do and it it definitely lit the fire under me again so I have you guys to thank see that's another reason I post vlogs like that it's like it's kind of a cry, a cry for help in in not a like dangerous way but you know sometimes I just reach my limits and I'm like I just can't dig myself out of this on my own I need you guys. You guys are my friends. You guys are my mouse fam. You know, you guys are my support system. You guys are my bros. So sometimes I just, I just need you, you know, I just, I need that. Like what are friends for, right? They're there to support you and help you feel better when you hit a low point and you just can't get out on your own, right? So that's, that's another reason I post vlogs like that. Cause like sometimes I just need you guys to like chuck me on the shoulder and be like, girl you got this it's all good <laughs> you know so it, it helped it really worked it got me out of my slump i'm excited to do this again and i'm i'm happy i'm happy with everything again i'm not really all that discouraged anymore it's just it feels better so you guys did that for me and i really appreciate that like you have no idea I appreciate you guys, every last stinking one of you, except for that one girl who was super rude. I don't even know where she came from. I've never seen her username before, but she's like, I've been watching you for years and this video was whiny and me, 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 me. I'm just like, okay, well, you're bitchy and rude. What do you mean? <laughs> I don't know where that girl came from, but she's, she's blocked now, so it doesn't matter. But anyway, so uh, yeah, that's about it. So I'm glad the microphone works. La, 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 la. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to it. Um, I'm going to record some reaction videos for my main channel. I'm going to get that up and running again because I miss it. I really miss it. I just, I didn't want to just half-ass it and go back on there and just do like one video. It got demonetized. It's been sitting dormant for so long. It is no longer a YouTube partner. So I, I won't even make any money on the first video that I put up it has to like you have to meet in certain criteria like certain number of watch time hours or something so you guys can help with that once I get the uh, first video up there I'll let you guys know and then you guys can flock to watch it and then you know just let it run in the background if you're not even interested whatever and then if I get my certain views I can kick my monetization on again and then I can actually you know make five cents every couple of months with the thing again you know <laughs> every little bit helps right but uh and if any of you think that i'm like selling out because i kind of feel like it maybe just a little bit by doing reaction videos well i've always kind of wanted to do them because it looks like fun and I'm not jumping on a bandwagon. It's just something that I've really always wanted to do, but I've always avoided because I didn't want to look like I was jumping on a band bandwagon. I've done a couple on my vlog channel, but like not properly. Stop it. Not properly, but I, um, I don't know. I just want to do them because the police body cam videos are so hilariously crazy to me and I do I make a lot of jokes to myself while I'm watching them so like I'm just like I should I should do this because you guys I I have some good ones in the bank <laughs> I can't even believe I'm subscribed to like five different police body cam channels and if you guys if you want to watch these crazy videos with me with my own personal commentary you're invited <laughs> it's just it's unreal okay and that means I have to do makeup again. I don't have to, but I like to do makeup on my main channel. This is my vlog channel. This is where I get to be homeless. This is like me inviting you into my house and you're my bestie and you're allowed to rummage in the fridge for a snack and join me on the couch in your pajamas and watch Netflix and scroll through your phone, whatever. That's my vlog channel. My main channel is like 
okay, I'm going to a business meeting type of thing, you know? So it's a little different vibe. Thanks for hanging out. This is just super weird. <laughs> but I will see you next time and I'll let you know when I get the first video up on my main channel. It's going to be a jolly good time. So thank you guys again for being so awesome. I really appreciate you. I want to give you all a hug. I want to hug every cat. <laughs> and in this case, the, that cat is you. You are the cat in this equation. So don't forget to watch out for the sheep as always. Vlog phrase of the day is my leg is falling asleep. Okay, bye. <laughs>